Greetings programs. Today we're going to talk about the Cisco Firepower 3100 hardware and do a quick throughput demo. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. We'll start with our good old friend, the data sheet. And you can see that it comes in four models, the 10, 20, 30, and 40. And today we're going to look at the 3120 because that's what I had available for testing. And specifically, we're going to look at this TLS decryption throughput figure, which 6.7 gigabits is really a very impressive number for a machine in this price range. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. So this is what the front panel looks like. Uh, you get your management port. It comes with eight 10 gigabit copper ports, eight SFP ports. They're the same. So these you don't get 16 total. You actually have eight. It's just you can use the SFPs instead of the copper ports if you'd like, if you need to run optics. You have uh, two storage ports, so you can run uh, RAID 1 if you'd like. And of course, there's the optional network module. Scrolling down, we're now going to take a look at the basic dot layout of the firewall. So you've got your CPU, storage, and memory. Uh, they have the cryptographic processor. And you have this new guy, which is the flow offload FPGA. So you can program your flows in the hardware. Pretty cool. And you do need to have uh, Firepower 7.2 for that flow offload FPGA to kick in. Uh, we also have a backplane switch. And uh, attached to that, we have our ports, our Ethernet ports, and of course, our management port. So now that we've covered the basics, Let's uh, actually run some packets through one of these things and see what it looks like. All right, so we're going to start out by taking a look at our traffic generator, which is the CyberFlood appliance. So we're going to run a five minute test. We're going to simulate 2000 users. This is our uh, topology. So we have two client subnets connecting to virtual routers. The virtual routers have a physical uplink port into our Nexus switch where our firepower appliance is wired up. DUT means device under testing. That's our firepower appliance. Then we have two virtual routers and those also have uplink ports from the appliance into the switch. And then finally our server subnets. So each of these links is 10 gig, which means the most we can do in one direction uh, in aggregate is uh, 20 gigs of throughput, which we probably will not hit. All right, so let's take a look at the traffic we're gonna send. So we're gonna do uh, TLS version 1.2 using 256-bit uh, keys. And we're gonna allow 20 requests per connection. So we're really gonna, we're gonna hammer this box pretty hard. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Okay. And while that's going on, let's inspect our appliance. So I'm gonna go into expert mode. And let's start by looking at the processor. So this is an AMD Epic 16 core proc. Very nice. That's a server class processor. And if we look at our memory, we have 128 gigs of RAM installed in the machine. And if we look at our disk, we have uh, several volumes here, the largest of which is a uh, 722 gigs. So let's take a look at the block device that's lying underneath that. All right, so we have a uh, RAID 1 volume. So that looks pretty good. And uh, it's 838 gigs. Now let's take a look at the hardware in the machine. So that's going to be a LS PCI, I think. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of stuff that's related to the processor and the supporting chipset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter that out with graph. All right, that's a little better. Okay, so our first two items. So these are going to be QLogic FastLink four port controllers. So these are our eight 10 gig ports that are on the front panel. And this is uh, these memory. This is a little bit of uh, Cisco cooking right here. So that's uh, either going to be the uh, flow offload FPGA or the boot FPGA. We don't know which. 
Uh, this is going to be our Cavium uh, crypto chip. So that's going to be uh, like a uh, uh, Nitrox 5 or something like that, if I recall correctly. I think you, can, you can look this up. As a matter of fact, why don't we go look this up? Why well, guess? So I had actually looked this up before because I was curious. And yep, there you go. It's a Cavium Nitrox 5 processor. All right. And let's see. More home cooking again. This is either going to be our, this is going to be probably wired into like an, an FPGA, either the, the boot or the flow offload. And this Ethernet controller, this Marvell Ethernet controller, so that's going to be our backplane switch. So that's going to be what all of the ports, like the network modules and the front panel ports, that's what all this gets wired into. So that's also going to have the um, management ports going to be wired into that too. And then at the very bottom, we're going to have, that's going to be our, uh, drive controller, storage controller. All right, so that pretty much covers that. Let's uh, hop over and see how things are going with our test. Okay, test's still running, but we'll, we'll come look at it in a minute. Uh, what I wanna do is come over to the firepower unit and make sure that we're actually decrypting traffic. So let's have a look. So if we scroll over to the right, okay. So SSL actual action is decrypt replace key. So to be crystal clear, what's happening here, we're taking encrypted traffic in, we're decrypting it, we're performing whatever operations we want on it. So we're running it through our, our snort uh, IPS policy. And then after we process the decrypted traffic, we're then re-signing it, re-encrypting it and sending it back on its way. So there's a, there's a lot going on here, right? and uh, obviously processor intensive. So uh, we are definitely decrypting the traffic though. If we come back over here, uh, we're still 71%, but let's go ahead and just take a peek and see how things are going. So you can actually see that the, we maxed out the firewall 12 seconds into the test. So early on into the ramp, we, we already, we quickly hit the ceiling. The, the test parameters were more than enough to, to uh, load up the box. But what's really cool is check this out. We're getting over seven gigs of throughput. When you can, when you like what I, like I said, when you consider we're decrypting the traffic, we're inspecting it, and then we're re-encrypting it and sending it on its way again, that's actually a, a pretty impressive number. So that was pretty cool, right? Spec sheet said 6.7 gigabits. We actually got over seven. Very impressive numbers. Hope you enjoyed watching this and I will see you on the next video.